It's the Celtic transfer news all Celtic fans want to hear. Never mind new players coming into Celtic. There are two lone stars currently at Celtic, who have been impressing the hoop's support with their displays. Hotter is the name on everyone's lips at the moment, but the other, Cameron Carter-Vickers has also been wowing the supporters in paradise with a series of brilliant, no-nonsense displays that have made him an instant fan's favourite. The confidence and assuredness the 23-year-old, I can't believe he is only 23, brings to the back line cannot be underestimated and his style of defending is something the Celtic fans have been crying out for ever since the horror show of last season. As we approach the halfway mark of the season, we also head towards the midway point to Carter Vickers' contract, and the burning question is now would he want to move to Celtic permanently? He was asked exactly that at yesterday's pre-match press conference and his reply will excite the hoop's support it is something I am open to, but I haven't given it much thought at this stage, to be fair. I still have plenty of games left in this season and that is my focus. I have really enjoyed it. The staff and the players have been really good with me and that's helped me. Clearly loving life at a big club and playing regular football will help CCV make a decision, and fast, about trying to get settled to kick-start his career. A career littered with lone moves, it is hard to believe that not one club has attempted to make a move for the American stopper, who is an absolute unit, and hopefully Celtic will make him an offer he will give much thought to. The fact is Cameron Carter-Vickers isn't ruling out a permanent move to Celtic at the end of the season. And that's great news as far as the Celtic transfer goes. Celtic do have an option to buy, we'll have to wait and see if the hoops trigger it come the summer. Right now, we need all players to be focused on the task at hand. There's a crazy run of games before the winter shutdown and the boys need to make sure they're in the conversation come January. So on to tonight's game. The former Celtic right-back, and German international, Andreas Hinkle has claimed that Celtic should look to catch Bayer Leverkusen out, in today's Europa League match in North Rhine-Westphalia. The Group G match is crucial for both sides as Leverkusen have the chance to clinch a qualifying spot and Celtic can keep their knockout stage dream alive heading into the final group match against Real Betis on 9 December. Hinkle, who was brought to the club in 2008 under Gordon Strachan, managed 79 appearances for Celtic during his three years in Glasgow. The steady performer has insisted that the hoops are playing Bayer at a good time and should be aiming to take one, if not all three points. Speaking to Daily Record, he said, Bayer Leverkusen are a very good team. You could see that in the first game in Glasgow. But that was a few weeks ago and I'm not sure Leverkusen are having their best period at the moment. When you see the last eight games, they only won two of them. There was a very tough loss to Bayern Munich which was hard for them and a couple more bad results followed. Of course, they have great qualities, but sometimes there are moments in a season. I can see that Celtic, after the defeat to Leverkusen, have won every game except one which was a draw. Sometimes football is in the head and, at this moment, it might be that Celtic has just a little bit more self-confidence. They can maybe surprise the people. It is always interesting when no one is counting on you or thinking you will win a game. But I think there is a chance because of the things I have said before. Celtic may have more self-confidence at the moment. I would like to see a Celtic win, but even a draw would be a good result, even if it might not be enough for the next stage of the Europa League if Real Betis win their match. What do you think the score will be tonight? Tell me in the comments. Have a great day Celtic fans. Lit. Roll up to the party, roll up, roll up to the party, roll up to the party, roll up, roll up to the